Well, it is 4.30 in the morning. Sounds like a lovely time to fly to Dallas to get roasted by Trent Horn. Here we go. <laughs> You know, want me to go to Dallas? You excited to be awake? No. Mm -hmm. But you are. Rainy and cold in Baltimore. It's gonna be 80 in Texas. Are you jealous? Yeah, I'm jealous. So in marriage, you learn stuff. And I've just been told that I'm not supposed to film Eliza at four o'clock in the morning when she uh, is barely awake. I don't know. Is that true? Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> hey, well, you live and you learn, folks. Not really, folks. Love She's the best. And she puts up with me. So I've got this philosophy. Moving walkways, they walk for you. So, so why walk on them? I know it's faster, but why are people not much better? So I refuse to walk on them. And it drives people crazy. <laughs> Okay, I know all the cool Catholics are moving to Steubenville, but it's like 80 degrees in March here in Texas. I, I don't know why they're not moving here. This is, this is amazing. So Trent and I had the interview and we came, got some lunch. Now just waiting for the Uber and gonna go back to the airport. Kind of crazy, you know, I mean, I was on a plane in Baltimore at 6 a.m. I'll be back home by 6 p.m. having traveled across the country and back. It's a wild world. Uh, so grateful to get to be able to do stuff like this. So thank all of you, and we'll talk more soon. Yeah, very excited that I'm home. Yeah, maybe. No. So I made it back from Dallas, and that was an absolutely wonderful experience. I hope that you guys check out the video. Um, if it's not out yet, be on the lookout for when it is out. If it is out, the link will be in the description to this. But there's just something about being in person with people. You know, I've been doing YouTube for a while now, and I've made like internet relationships where you do Zoom calls with people or you interact in comment sections. And it's nice, and I love it. But there's nothing that, that really matches being in person with someone and getting to shake their hand and look them in the face and, and connect in that way. It was a really special thing and I'm so thankful to Trent for making that happen. During the conversation, I, I think we covered some really fruitful and interesting ground. We didn't just kind of rehash the, the typical things that Protestants and Catholics disagree about. We talked a little bit more about how we might approach these things. What are some of the assumptions we're going in with? What are kind of the, the methodologies for investigating these truth claims and how can we apply them consistently? So if that kind of thing interests you, I hope that you enjoy it. And, and I think in it, you'll see how we come from different places, but we, we try to find common ground and see how we can do this well. Because at the end of the day, even though there might be things that Trent and I disagree about, we're, we're both passionate about theology and church history. Our hot water is broken, so if you heard that, that was Eliza. But we're, we're both really passionate about theology and church history, and, and we want to see people investigate these questions well. And whether that leads them to the conclusions that I've made or he's made or, or something else, I, I think both of us are glad just when people are asking these questions in, in good faith and engaging deeply with the questions. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>